Welcome back to Stickers on the Mic. Andrew with you once again. Very excited to be dialing in some friend of ours from Boulder, from Art Sticks. We've got Cassie and Vanessa. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us, Andrew. We're so excited to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having us. You bet. So we've been working with y'all for a while. Um, it's a very fun project, but we got to kind of like rewind and, and just sort of explain what is Art Sticks in Boulder? Sure. So Art Sticks, we started back in... 2017 and um, the idea we got from our friends out in Fargo, they're called Albino Buffalo and love to give them a little shout out there too, but they're doing um, a very similar project out there and um, our origin story kind of starts there with the teenager who was collecting stickers. Um, so we started our own thing doing that here in Boulder. Um, our purpose is to bring affordable art to our community and then also to support our local artists and um, make art more accessible to people. And then from there, we've kind of grown into um, wanting to be able to have more difficult conversations. So we've been having these discussions about how moving to a more digital space, we as human population have um, kind of our skills in discussion and disagreement have uh, decreased. And we thought that talking about art and our opinions around stickers would be a really easy way to start doing that. So that's a bit of the direction that we're going now. Nice. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you've, you've been doing this for years now, like you said, I mean, you each, you have a theme or a series and you're, you're moving uh, in, you know, you just got series six is up there and that's kind of cool. And that's kind of a neat story um, to talk a little bit about the present day. Um, what goes into like curating this and, and working with these artists to create this project? Yeah. Um, Vanessa, do you want to take that one? Talk about our artist selection process at all? Absolutely. I would love to. So when we first started, we were really focused on the Boulder community artists. Um, as, as we are located in Boulder, we wanted to start uh, by helping to cultivate that local artist community. Now, um, since, since we've had some interest as we've kind of grown and Art6 has become recognized among the local communities, We've um, expanded to all of Colorado, which is really exciting. So now any Colorado local artist can actually submit to be a series artist. Um, mm. I will say um, a lot of our a lot of our artists come from referrals from past series artists, which is awesome. We love we love hearing from them. But anyone could apply, um, whether you're doing doodles in, in meetings like we've all been on too many Zooms. I'm sure there are some doodlers out there that could apply. But um, we also have some local partnerships. We partner with Boulder High School um, art classes and they wow. they submit a artist for every series. So that's one way we source artists. And then our whole team actually gets together and, and compiles all the artists that have submitted and, and we end up selecting six for every series. That's awesome. Yeah. And then they get the sticker printed and where can like people get these stickers now that they, you know, once they've been designed and, and printed? Yeah, so we started off just in vending machines. We have three around Boulder. There's one at the Trident um, Cafe and Bookstore. There's one in Illegal Pizza on Pearl Street. And then we also have one um, in Celestial Seasonings. They are still closed, unfortunately, due to the pandemic at the moment. But um, once we're back up and running, you can find them there too. And then we also have series packs available at our gallery on Pearl Street as well. So um, the series packs you can get um, any of the past series that we still have available in machines. We only have our current series, which would be series six right now. Um, and then we have uh, just launched our virtual machine online since, um, you know, the times we're living in. And um, that's available online for series six as well. So it's a very similar experience, except that you don't actually get to hold quarters and I was about to say it's very different because it's online. So explain this virtual machine because it's, I mean, people understand what a vending machine is. And by the way, I love the one at Trident and we've done, uh, we've done a story with one of the former owners, Andrew Hyde, and uh, we, we did a video there with them. Folks who are listening to the podcast, you might remember that from a few seasons ago. Um, but, you know, going to a vending machine is a physical thing and you put in the money and you get it out. What is a virtual machine and how does it work on the website? I mean, I can look at it and see it, but explain it to us. Sure. Okay. Oh, um, Go ahead, Catherine. No, you take it. Well, I was just going to say, um, Andrew, I think you're right. There's a lot of magic in the moment between when you put in your quarters and when you pull out that sticker and not knowing what it was going to be. And so that's what we tried to recreate on the website. 
And so the actual inputs on the website are your full name and your email address. And then you, you physically spin this wheel on the site that will land on an artist. And then we, um, the Art6 team, will pick a sticker from that artist and send it to you via good old snail mail. So there's still that um, component of mystery involved because you do have to wait to see which sticker you got. So we did our best to recreate that excitement. But yes, nothing's the same as the tactical feel of putting in quarters into the machine and getting back, um, you know, this piece of local art that you can then stick wherever you want. It's a cool tool. I, I noticed it's called wheel of pop-ups. That's like, I'm sure you had to find something that worked for you. And like, it's just a neat, neat little plugin. It looks like something different. Totally. Brought a little bit of fun to this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's rad. Um, so how can folks get connected with art sticks? Like how, how, um, how are you like growing this audience in this community? What, what, what tools are you using? Well, we're pretty um, active on Instagram. We like connecting with artists there, sharing art as well. So if you don't follow us already, we'd love to see you there. That's at Artsticks Co. Um, and then if you're interested in being an artist, we have a page on the website called Connect, and there's a form there to submit. We're always accepting submissions, even if um, they're for future series. We just kind of rounded out our set of applications for this upcoming series, which will come out in September, but um, always looking to connect with people. And, um, and you can also sign up for our email newsletter. We um, have fun with our email newsletters and do um, series that we call Art is Resistance. And so we share examples of art around the world that um, we think are a good representation of that. And um, we're always looking for people to share those examples with us too, if, if they feel like we, they should be shared. Did I miss anything? Nice. Um, no, I think that's perfect. Well, well, I was, and I was trying to get, and you, you did a nice job not going there, but I'm like, what about donations, right? How can people, if they don't want to just read a newsletter like, or buy a sticker, how can they support what y'all are doing? Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. I should be better at that. We are also a nonprofit. Um, so instead of just buying stickers, you can also donate to us. And um, we have a donate page on our website. And um, this is how we run. So outside of the fact that we would not be around if it weren't for Sticker Giant, because Sticker Giant is an amazing sponsor and prints all of our stickers. So if you've ever gotten one, you know what amazing quality they are. But outside of um, Sticker Giant, we run off of donations. So um, that would be also a wonderful way to support your local artists so we can continue doing this. Now, Vanessa. Yes. Everyone, and then I'm gonna get to you, Cassie, but everyone has like that sticker that they can remember. They like, they like stickers. Like I, I have many now, cause this is what okay. I want to talk about for years. But I mean, even before I started working at Sticker I'm like, oh, there are some stickers that mean a lot to me. They're on my buckets or on my bins or whatever. What's your mm -hmm. sticker story? What a wonderful question. I did just grab a prop because I could really pick any of the art stick stickers. Our artists are so amazing and, and really so diverse in, in the art that they create. So I'm just appreciative that when you look at a series, you know, you really, you really get such a broad spectrum, but I will show you, and I know this is a podcast, so everyone at home can't see, which is fine. But on my Yeti Tumblr here, I have um, this Ryan, and I'm going to probably say his name wrong, Cassie, how, help me here. Cop. Cop. Okay, Ryan Cop. He's a local Boulder tattoo artist. Um, and I love his stuff. I've actually purchased from him after Art Sticks, but he created this Columbine. I am from Colorado, live in Colorado, and was made to sing songs about Columbines when I was in the fifth grade. So they have a special place in my heart. Um, so this is one of my favorite stickers and, um, Ryan's just such a phenomenal artist. He, I'm actually looking at another piece of his art. He drew a pet portrait for me and I've purchased many since. So, so go out and support Ryan and all of our art six artists for sure. And that last name was KOPF, by the way, folks, Ryan Kopf. I'm looking at his, uh, page on their site and he's underscore R Y H N O underscore on Instagram as well, if you're interested in, in the art she's talking about. Thanks for sharing that. So Cassie, like I said, we grow up with stickers. They're part of our life. Gold star, go to the dentist. Everyone has a sticker story. What is your sticker story? Vanessa, pick one from Art Sticks, go figure. But what would be your story? I mean, mine also has to be from Art Sticks. Can't help it. Um, but 
but it's more about the artist too. So my favorite sticker, I can't show you because it's on the back of my computer, but it's front and center. Um, I It's hard to choose a favorite, but um, this one I just love so much. It's from Jade Tankersley. I'm sorry, Jade, if I messed up your name, but she was at Boulder High School when she was a part of the series. She's now in college. Um, and the sticker is of two pandas and they are eating popcorn watching a movie. Um, and the story that she told me about her creating the sticker is that the two pandas names are Bam and Boo. And I just love that. And also my dog's name is Boo. So there's a little connection there, but, um, but they're just these cute fat pandas sitting on the couch eating popcorn. I don't know how you can't love that. That's awesome. Um, cool. Yes. Like I said, everyone has a sticker story. So thank you for sharing yours. Um, so lots of cool things going on. You can buy stickers on the site. They're limited edition, every various series, you do packs of them. Um, you got the virtual machine. So all that stuff is available on artsticks.net. Um, you've got the six series, you've got series seven coming in. You're, you're saying this before we start rolling. Uh, what, what does series seven look like? And, and when's that coming up? So we just picked off Series 7. Um, I'll let Vanessa talk about that a little bit, but we should be launching in September. So keeping an eye out for it. Can you tell them where we're at? Yeah, absolutely. I would say the best place to follow along with any of our announcements are on Instagram or on artsticks.net. Those are two great places to get updates. Um, and I just add to that, I believe what Cassie has already mentioned around the new lens we're looking at through artist resistance. So that really can mean whatever it means to the artist. Um, we have some artists that are very interested in conservation. So so what we mean by that can range and it, it's really an, up for interpretation as art is. Nice. Um, so art as resistance series seven coming out. We're going to try to feature some of those artists when that comes together later this summer. So I'm excited to, to preview that today and have you all on the show chatting a little bit about art sticks. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to promote some art sticks in Boulder. I can't wait. That's going to be super fun. Um, well, thank you for joining us. Um, you know, best of luck with, with the with the project as it goes and everything else you do. And thank you uh, for being here, both of you. Thank you so much for having us. This is such a fun opportunity, and we're so excited to talk again. Yes, that's right. You heard it here first. Vanessa, you any parting words? No, just uh, appreciate everything Sticker Giant does for um, Art Sticks. It's been such a wonderful partnership for us, and appreciate you all. Very novel, very cool. I wanted to, before we go, actually, the, the thing you were talking about where you took inspiration, what is the name of the group who had the vending machine stickers? Albino Buffalo. Albino Buffalo. And where, what is their deal? Yeah. They're, they're out of Fargo. And um, the story comes from our founder and his uh, daughter. They were doing a road trip back and they had these limited edition series and they um, were missing some. And so they went to go get them. And um, the machine was empty. It was all out. And so it was kind of this like ice cream dropped moment. We're just like, no, right. <laughs> not, not the sticker is gone. Um, I see. So it's yeah. albino-buffalo.com. That's really rad. So they're doing that up there. Um, and y'all are doing it down here and it's all, it's quite a, uh, fun little subculture huh, of stickers. Totally. They have, they have a really cool thing going and, um, of course, we reached out to them and talked to them before we started and making sure it was okay. And I think he was pretty excited that we were bringing it out to Colorado too. So maybe it'll catch on. The last thing I wanted to actually, this is the most important perhaps, is you have a sticker, right? And there's a logo. And who designed that? And what's the what's the background on, on the sticker itself, like the logo of Art Sticks? Oh, sure. Um, well, I designed that uh, back in 2017. Um, I uh, was... So Art Sticks is a little side passion project of Room 214, which is a um, marketing growth studio agency in Boulder. And so we have a, um, a small team at Room 214 that works on Art Sticks. Um, all volunteers are spending their time during work, Room 214, letting them do that. And um, so as a team, we worked to brainstorm around that and obviously want it to look like a sticker. and. Um, and um, I guess the story of maybe where our name came from is a, is a little bit more fun. I don't know if we want to share that on the podcast, but <laughs> there were a couple of uh, suggestions before Art Six that came about that uh, didn't make it to the to the chopping block. 
Ah, uh, that's a, usually a good place sometimes for editing. Um, one thing about 214, and I've known about 214 for a while, and we can sort of segue here. Y'all run open book uh, management there, uh, which we do at Sticker Giant too, which is a fun, you know, when you talk about people pursuing passions and, and the way your business runs, that, that sounds to me like a very natural fit, you know, considering what open book has done for Sticker Giant. Um, and, and I know that, like I said, that's a big part. There, he's right there in front of the board and everything, which we, you know, do when you're running the numbers and running the business. So that's pretty cool. Um, so very cool. Um, well, right on. So we got the you're the designer. So I we even got the creative inspiration on the show. Um, so thank you for that. And like I said, everybody out there in Podland, um, we will be uh, circling back to this conversation and, and doing a little another mini series of designers when we get back. Uh, uh, into the fall here to promote the art sticks project so uh, look forward to that so and we'll see you next time like we say every sticker has a story today it's cassie's art sticks sticker and the uh, art is resistance project that is going to be going forward here in the summer so keep uh keep watching this space and we'll see you next time that wraps up this episode of Stickers on the Mic, brought to you by StickerGiant.com. You can download us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, or your favorite podcatcher. Thanks again for listening to Stickers on the Mic. We'll see you next time.